So here in the middle, we're going to have a look at how we add Kaltura videos to our course or how we add videos to our course. So the first thing we're going to do is come to the My Media tab up at the top. We will click here, and this is where we can upload our videos to Moodle. Now, these won't automatically appear in our course. We can upload them here or from within the course, and then we'll add them to our course later. So if we go to the Add New button across here on the right, you can see we've got a few different options for a media upload, an express capture, adding a YouTube video, and then also Kaltura capture and a video quiz. We're going to focus on the media upload for this class, but the others are all useful options. So we'll go to Media Upload and we're going to choose a file to upload. We're going to grab this Moodle tutorial and click Upload. And in here, you'll see our file is uploading and we can modify the title. We can add in the description here. And then we can also add some tags for our course. At the moment, you'll see this is set to private. Now you can leave it that way. When we add it to courses, it will be visible. So once our upload is finished, then we can go to Save and now we'll be able to see this within a course where we can add it into that course. If we come back to My Media here, then you'll see once it's uploaded, we'll see the thumbnail here in My Media and we'll be able to click on the title. And at the moment, this is being processed. So we're going to come into a course now and add a video in there. So upload your videos within the Media Gallery. And then when you come to your course, there's a couple of different ways of adding your uploaded videos. So we're going to go to week one here and we'll turn edit mode on up at the top right. And then from here, we're going to add an activity or resource. Now, the first activity or resource we can add, if we come to resources here, is our Kaltura video resource. We can click here, and you can see below, I can click add media, and I'll be able to select from a list of the videos that I've uploaded. So I can select the video that's still transcoding, but we'll just select this other instructional video that we've created. We'll click embed, and we'll call this workshop video. And we can add a description here, and we will then go to save and display. And if we come back to our course, and you can see we've got that Kaltura video resource, our workshop video listed on the page. If we turn edit mode off, then it will just be listed as workshop video. We can click on it and it will be embedded in the page where students can watch it. And Kaltura will also generate the closed captioning automatically as well for your videos. So we'll pause that, we'll come back to our course page, and then we'll turn edit mode back on. My preferred way to add a video to a course is if I go to add an activity or resource, I'm going to come to resources and I'm going to choose text and media area. Now you can do this for any activity or resource. It'll work in assignments, anywhere that you have this text frame, you can actually add a culture or video. So with my cursor placed in the text frame here, I can click the little firework symbol, which is going to embed Kaltura Media. And we can come to this page. We'll grab this intro video here. We'll embed that. And then with Kaltura, you'll get this link, which when we go to save and return to course, and we'll turn edit mode off, we'll embed that video within the course. Now we can add text to this text and media area as well, not just the embedded video. So if we go back and turn edit mode on and then come to edit the settings for this short piece, we can add a title a video. We'll just set that to medium heading. And we can also add a description for our video as well. We'll hit save and return to course, and you'll have some text around the edges of your video. So once we've added this, if we turn edit mode off, then you'll see how this video will place within our course page. And as I mentioned before, if we add any assignments or other activities, then in the description here and the activity instructions, you can see we have that Kaltura video button. So we can add Kaltura videos into those text boxes as well. So we can add videos in line with our text, which makes it nice and easy for students to access content or for you to manage the way that students are accessing their content. So that's a quick overview of how to add videos into Moodle. If you do have any questions, then please get in touch.